Hi everyone, we're moved. We're uh, officially in my in my in my new setup, my new my new apartment, I suppose. Uh, I want to say uh, I I feel kind of ill under the weather. I think it's probably just because of how much stress this move has been. Uh, but hey, I think we're, we're 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 back. We're good. We're running, and uh, I think content will start coming out again regularly. So for those asking where Pokemon Whack is, it will come. Just be patient, okay? I've been moving my entire life. 30 minutes away from where I was before. It's not that bad, but still, I was moving, okay? So it's been a really busy, busy past uh, few 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 days, past week, whatever. Um, but I appreciate the patience. I wanna say drop a like on this video if you're, uh, uh, if you like my content, you support me, whatever. Apologies if my voice is a bit rough here. I apologize if the lighting isn't perfect. Um, yeah, uh, so where I currently stay, uh, one of the windows doesn't have a curtain on it. Uh, so there's just kind of like light coming coming in natural lighting uh, so uh, One side of my face might be a bit too bright. It's it's just me being nitpicky. I'm sure it looks fine to you guys uh, But it will be fixed eventually. I'm going to get a curtain up there There's a few kinks here and there in the place that I need to sort out But yeah besides that, I'm really happy with it. I think my background looks a lot nicer um, Anyways, let's actually talk about the video. I feel like I've just spilt my Personal life story. Okay, video. All right, so prepare for battle in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So I'm not gonna lie to you. I have seen this. I, I don't really remember much about it besides Alolan Weezing's ability is busted. But I figured let's watch this. Uh, I'll just talk about it as we go along. Uh, it's not really a reaction, more just like a my thoughts type thing. It's just it's Pokemon stuff, and I need to talk about it. I know I'm like a day or two late, but I was moving. What do you do? You want from me? All right, let's go. Uh, so. See these boys, it's just, you know, given the general intro, Pokemon Sword and Shield. And, um, God, my voice is so weak. New battle strategies. So, um, as I've been saying, I, I was confident and I believed in Pokemon that the reasoning for the dex cut or whatever is to focus more on the competitive side of things. I believed them. I believed them when they were saying that. And I was like, okay, I think they're going to try and make Pokemon... An actual esport, maybe. I, don't, I think they're going to try and take Pokemon, com like p competitive battling, more seriously because a lot of people do it. And uh, to be honest, I think it peaked in X and Y for me personally, or ass as well. Um, but I think they're—I don't know—they're trying to—they're trying to re grab people's attention with it, make this a big part of the Gala region. And I hope this isn't just a gimmick. I hope this isn't just like a the gimmick of this region is competitive battling and then they kind of just move past it. Like, I really hope this is a start of like, they're actually taking Pokemon competitive seriously and they're actually gonna maybe do patch updates with like, you know how Mega Kangaskhan was busted in X and Y? <laughs> they, they, they only fixed it when Oras came out like a year later. Like, I'm really hoping, I think they fixed it in Oras at least. Maybe it was Sun and Moon they fixed it. I'm really hoping that there's regular updates. Like, oh, this Pokemon's too broken, let's play around maybe not so much stat tweaks but like you know let's do something to make it not so busted i don't know i don't know what they could do to be honest it's kind of i mean i guess when it comes to like something like kangaskhan it, it was a pretty simple fix you know make it so the second attack is 25 percent damage instead of 50 um i don't know what you could do to fix lando besides lowering his stats i don't know anyways um gastrodon's confirmed can we just get yeah, a round of applause my boy gastrodon is in the game I'm so glad. <laughs> I can't lie. So I got this commission done um, by this lovely artist on Twitter. I'll leave a link. I'll put them on screen and stuff like that. And uh, I don't remember their name. It's really bad. I think it's it's just because it's a really awkward name to pronounce. I think I'm just I'm really bad with names. All right. Don't take it personally. Uh, I'll put the artwork on screen and everything. Uh, I got artwork of me, how I currently look, you know, because I don't, I don't have any artwork of me drawn with just a normal hat on. I, I got that plus Shellos on my shoulder and I was like, dope. You know, we're, um, we're set for, for Sword and Shield commission or whatever. But then I was like, wait, what if Shalos isn't in Sword and Sh Ooh, <laughs> and he is, um, or at least the blue one is, um, I got the pink one. Uh, I don't know if the pink one's going to be there, but Hey, at least Shalos is there. So Galarian's, uh, well, by the way, can we just, okay. I made a tweet about this. This game is gorgeous. This game is gorgeous. Okay. This is just like the, the Rotom cameras perspective, but like, the shading, the lighting, just everything looks amazing. All other abilities get neutralized by a lowland wheat. Look how pretty this is. I really, I really, look how pretty it is. I really like the shadows. 
I like how vibrant it is. Obviously, I'm still not a huge fan of the Arcanine. It's kind of just like... He's, he's just stuck staring. But... Man, Galarian Weezing is huge, by the way. Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, Galarian Weezing, everybody's freaking out about his ability, meaning, you know, uh, he's going to be a staple in VGC, a lot of people are assuming, because he neutralizes all our abilities. So that means Gastrodon won't eat up all the all the water-type moves it typically does um, around Galarian Weezing. Um, so Gastrodon can no longer simply protect Arcanine by existing, because Galarian Weezing's in the way. Um, so that's gonna be interesting because like that means steel types are gonna wait steel would steel be super effective on Galarian Weezing? Uh, I think I think it would yeah Yeah, I think it would but then Galarian Weezing probably gets Flamed through oh, is it gonna be spicy spicy spicy? I'm not super into competitive battling like I used to I really do want to get back into it with sword and shield and the fact that they're focusing on Competitive battling with sword and shield is making me really hype uh, Rotom uh, has levitate can we okay look at this animation for earth earth power it's just so straight to the point. Now, here's something, okay. People are all up in arms about the animations and stuff, right? To be honest, whenever Pokemon have done really long, fancy animations, it's fun the first time around, you know, like uh, Mega Evolution and Z moves and stuff. But afterwards, I just never wanna, I never wanna sit through them all. I get, I get so impatient. You know, that's why people like Showdown a lot because Showdown, you can just skip the animation or whatever. Uh, that's one of the reasons why at least uh, and I just really I really hope that um this is a change because uh, uh, like the animation looks good but it doesn't take up too much of your time I think this is faster than the previous earth power I think I could be wrong but I think that, like look how fast this is earth power done it was so quick it was such a quick nice animation gets the point across I really hope most animations stay like that because like I, 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 people don't have the time to just sit through all these. I really, they, they need to look good, but I don't want them to drag out. I think that's a nice balance they need to find. I think Earth Power was awesome. Earth Power was a really good uh, thing. There's a new um, held item called Room Service. <laughs> that's just goofy. Um, I guess. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, so what does that do? Uh, lowers the Pokemon speed during Trick Room. Right. Okay. Oh. Okay. So there were some like. I don't know. I, I really hope that this wasn't just like a an editing effect. Um, when Mimikyu used Trick Room, I just thought that looked amazing. I really hope that is what it looks like in the actual game. Like, look at this. Wait, not this. Look at it. Look at this. Look at. Oh, that looks so dope, man. Just. I hope that's not a, not an editing effect. I hope that is actually what the game looks like. I'm praying. <laughs> it just looks so good. Oh uh, yeah, it just lowers the Pokemon speed during during Trick Room. Okay, that is that is a pretty pretty cool. That'll be handy. That'll be handy. They're, they're taking competitive battling seriously. Eject pack um, that whenever your stats get lowered, I think the Pokemon switches, wait, the Pokemon switches out after its stats are lowered. That's going to be a really awesome item as well. I really like that. So after, I guess at the end of the turn, I guess because his items, uh, his stats have been lowered, he can switch out. Awesome. New move, breaking swipe. Um, not entirely sure what that does. Lowers the attack of all targets. Okay, that must not be a very very strong attack. Corviknight's hidden ability, mirror armor. Um, I think that just, yeah, whatever stat drop gets put onto Corviknight gets yeeted back. Interesting. I wonder if that's going to be, I guess that would actually be a pretty good ability, right? That is a good ability, but it's like, is Corviknight going to be prevalent? Is it Talonflame good? Or is it just kind of like, I guess it depends on his stats maybe, because Steel Flying is a very good type. Skarmory and Celesteela, have both been monsters in competitive battling, and uh, maybe Corviknight's another. Dynamax power. Um, they can't be flinched. Uh, so yeah, that's another thing. Like flinching is is definitely more of like a, a VGC thing. It's more of like a, you know, you you got two Pokemon in the field. You know, you want to flinch one of them. So not, like that's definitely a VGC thing. So Dynamaxing, they 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 can't. I guess they can't be flinched. Max moves have powerful secondary effects. Okay. Jesus Christ, that Raichu is actually really huge. They are so much bigger than I remember. Look at those animations, man. The opposing Champs attack rows, the Ludicolo's attack rows. This is gonna be really complex to get into, to be honest, but I'm, I'm really looking forward to learning. Man, that animation is dope. It just caused a hail because it used... Okay, okay. So because Milotic in Dynamax form used Avalanche, I think it was. I don't know what move it was. Milotic used the move, secondary effect, caused the hail to come. 
Frost last put up Aurora Veil. That this is gonna change so much. Like this is, I think this will actually genuinely change competitive battling so much. Um, I think there is some part of this video where it says there were some video effects used, and I think they're maybe talking about the transitions here. That's why earlier I was like, I hope that Trick Room effect is how it actually looks and is not a video effect, because if it was a video effect, I'm gonna be really sad. Um, but I think it's meant to be these transitions and the things that pop up on the screen, you know. I could be wrong though. I could very well be wrong. I'm really interested to see how this works out. This is this is super cool. The opposing teams are revealed faded, yep. And then Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh so, um to be honest, I'm really hyped for Corviknight. I think uh I think his ability is really cool. I'm surprised there wasn't an ability like that sooner, to be honest. Um, I just want to go back and just look at look at how pretty this looks. This is the best like battle background we've had so far. Right, the color's awesome. The shadows are just like you know they're kind of just crosses underneath them, but they look cool. It's just so dynamic looking, and I'm just really really hyped to to be able to compare to the battle. Uh, it was such a pretty looking game. Um, I, I'm so looking forward to this. Uh, hopefully you guys are too. Um, let me know your thoughts and everything, I suppose. Um, Galarian Weezing. They, 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 they invented him like we want you to be busted. <laughs> to be, what's his weaknesses though? He's not weak to poison, he's neutral. Weak to steel, weak to ground. Is that it? Is, is that his only weaknesses? I could be missing, I think it's just steel and ground. Psychic? Psychic is what I don't know what I'm talking about. Steel, steel ground, psychic. There'll probably be more I'm missing. Um, not the most amount of weaknesses, but he doesn't have levity anymore. So I guess there there is also that. Uh, I'm looking forward to this game. I'm looking forward to trying out competitive battling. Uh, Galarian Weezing is just proving to be an art boss. Uh, I can't wait to see how this this goes. Like, there's just man. Do you do we think the reason why they're cutting the decks is so they they can they don't have to worry about slacking and archaeops and uh, all the Pokemon with, uh, disabilities, so to say, you know, like, uh, Ar yeah, Archeops is disability, you know, Slacking, uh, who else is there, Regigigas, you know, or is maybe, or they maybe cut all those guys, I don't know, we'll see, uh, I'm hyped that Gastrodon's confirmed, it's my boy, it's my baby, um, yeah, thanks for watching, uh, that's all I can say, I appreciate you guys, thanks for bearing with me through the move, but everything should be back on track soon, I will see you guys next time.